And welcome to the Factor Uncensored. We begin tonight with a major headline in the Houston area. A jury has found Robert Solis not guilty. Not guilty. He's accused, or he was accused, of killing Houston Police Officer Sergeant Sean Rios back in 2020. Fox 26's Tiffany Justice was there when the verdict was handed down. She picks up a story from here, and people were just shocked. An audible gasp in the courtroom Tuesday as the judge read the not guilty verdict for 24 year old Robert Solis charged with murder for the death of Sergeant Sean Rios in 2020. Solis taking a sigh of relief with his attorneys by his side. The daughter of HPD Sergeant Rios crying in the hallway. <laughs> Tuesday's deliberation started around 9 o'clock this morning, the verdict coming down around 5.07 this afternoon. At the time of the shooting, Solis was on a misdemeanor bond for carrying a handgun in a vehicle when he was charged with that murder. Rios was a veteran officer with HPD for 25 years and was shot in North Houston near a motel. The police chief at the time, Art Acevedo, said the 47-year-old officer was heading into work, off duty at the time, and in street clothes when he traded gunfire with the car. Witnesses say four shots were fired, Officer Rios passing away in the lobby of that motel. Robert Solis's attorneys not giving much comment tonight about the jury's verdict and what they called a road rage clash. Are you guys giving any comment? We are uh, going to have a, uh, there's going to be a, a news conference, I think, or a press conference tomorrow. I'm very relieved, but we're not going to give any more comments on that until tomorrow. Wow, now that verdict was unexpected for many who have been following it, including the Houston Police Officers Union. Joining us here on the Factor on Center now is HPOU President Doug Griffith. When you heard about this verdict involving your officer, what came to mind? Because everyone is just thrown with this verdict. We were very disappointed in this verdict. Um, after sitting through most of the trial and actually knowing Sean Rios personally on a, a very personal level uh, and his family, we were shocked that the jury come up with this decision. I cannot fathom any reason for such uh, with the videos that were presented of this punk out there bragging about what he had just done and and put it on social media after the fact. It proves right there this was not a self-defense case. This is nothing more than a little punk getting out there trying to be bad with a gun. And Sean Rios is obvious from the evidence that he, he tried to take police action even though he wasn't in uniform. Uh, when you see something like that, you're bound by law to take action. You're a police officer 24-7, uniform or not. And Really quick, Doug, you know, what do you say to a jury who says, well, this was road rage. This was road rage between two people, and then the officer was not in his uniform, wasn't clearly identified. Well, it's obvious this wasn't a road rage incident. Uh, as you can see, Mr. Solis pulled down the street, stopped, jumps out of his car and comes at him, at the officer. The officer stops his car. Half his car was still in the roadway at the time of the service road. He was, it, uh, it was obvious that it was in a circumstance where he needed to get out of that car and get out of the way. Now, there's also two other cases out there that happened before this one where he shot a car on the freeway. There's thousands of videos of him brandishing a weapon, driving around with his windows down, pointing to other cars. Some of that was not allowed in the trial, and I think that's part of the reason that the jury didn't get to see all the evidence that, that could have been presented. Do you think this individual will get out after being exonerated. Uh, obviously, there's double jeopardy. Right. Uh, he probably won't be tried again. Not for this case, but we know of at least two others where he assaulted people, firing at them. But in, this in case vehicles. is most but important. But this case is done. Yeah. Yes, this case is done. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we have to just respect what the jury did. We can be disappointed in it, which we are very disappointed in it. But, but we have, have to move forward. Have you been able to wrap your mind around it and figure out what did this jury see that we as law enforcement officers, we as a public did not see? No, 
I, I can't wrap my head around it, and I can tell you we're in a sad state of affairs in Harris County if this is going to be a case of quote unquote self defense because there's nothing we can do as a society to stop idiots with guns going out there and shooting at other people except for law enforcement to step in. Do you think officers will have pause when they go out on patrol tomorrow as a result of seeing this? The officers on patrol, I don't think so. They're professionals, they're class. They're gonna go out there and do their job. But as far as getting involved in incidents when they're off duty, they see something, absolutely not. They're gonna call it in and let a, a market unit deal with it because right now Harris County sh has shown that they are not going to support our officers if they try to take action and they're not in, in uniform. Now you saw the officer's daughters and you say, I've known them all my life. What is it to like to see them come out after hearing that verdict crying and getting no justice for their father? It breaks my heart for them. Knowing that family the way I know that family, the way I knew Sean, uh, his wife is straight class, his daughters, his sons, just they're amazing individuals. They've stayed strong through this whole trial and that's who I feel sorry for right now. I really do. That's a great family. They deserve better. And, you know, thank God they live in Montgomery County. All right. Doug Griffith, thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. Obviously, this didn't turn out the way you wanted to, but we wish you guys the best. And keep us updated on what you decide to do next. Yes, sir.